hey y'all welcome back now you know 4c hair matters and so in today's video there is no lace front wig needed no lace no case now tell me why i decided to style my 4c natural hair when it's almost 100 degrees outside one thing about me though i'm going to drop some gems so you guys can recreate this look during the cooler months and the fall and winter now moving along rpg show sent over this gorgeous kinky straight u part wig i'm loving the ombre type gradient the balayage effect and one thing i want to show you guys is the cap construction and i wanted to talk to you guys about these combs they're a little bit flimsy but i'm going to give you a great tip on how you can readjust them so you can continue to slay but you have a ton of combs along with an elastic band and adjustable straps at the nape now we definitely have to talk about those flimsy combs so i'm going in with my seam ripper and i'm just gonna take out these combs they were very poorly stitched if i can be honest so it was super easy to remove them i'm like they basically fell out i wanted to position these combs closer so that the base of the comb sits nearest the front edge of the u part and i'm taking my time and reinforcing the edge again i love this step it's not easy to do on a canvas blockhead i don't know why i did this i kind of just wanted to give you guys a good visual demonstration so you feel comfortable recreating it but if i can give you some advice please use a t-pin to anchor or stabilize your comb as you're sewing i only caught on to that once i did the second comb but this is a great tip as it allows for your u part to sit extremely flat near the front of your hair so it's practically undetectable And let's get into one of my favorite heat protectants. This is by Fantasia, and I'm going to use a modest amount and really work this into the hair, especially the ends, because I want to make sure they look fresh and rejuvenated. As per usual, you know, I like to go in and flat iron my units, but the temperature is significantly lower. I believe it's anywhere from like 330 degrees to about 350. I didn't want to overdo it. I'm trying to best mimic my natural hair when it's straight end, and so, Again, lower those temperatures, don't be at 400, okay? You don't wanna do that. And in showing you this in real time, you guys can see that the flat iron practically glides through the hair like butter. This is, this is silky, honey, this is it. But let me know, would you be down to wear a U-part wig? What's your experience? Definitely meet me in the comment section because I know we gonna have a lot to talk about, especially if y'all clock to me, but anyway. And make sure you guys refresh the ends of the hair. I'm just trimming in very subtle layers just to keep the look fresh and lively. Cause honey, we gotta serve. I don't have time. We gotta make sure she is ready to work and ready to slay the day. So I'm doing something just a little light, you know, a little light. Maybe you remember that mesh that sits at the center of the U part and we're gonna go in and remove that, but I want you to be very careful as you do this because the mesh sits very close to the wefts around the U part. So take your time. Don't try to be Speedy Gonzalez, it's no rush. For the leave out, you want to make sure you have a sufficient amount. And as far as the parts, I did diagonal parts, which I think allows the unit to just look more realistic and lay more comfortably. So just, you know, take that little tip. Now I'm anchoring the unit with the elastic band first and then adjusting the U part in its place. Now I was so excited about the fact that I repositioned the combs that I forgot there are two other combs that I could be using. So again, if you get this unit, you have a ton of different comb options. I was just focused on the ones that I repositioned because they anchored perfectly to my braids. I was hyped. And for this styling process, don't forget to apply heat protectant to your natural hair. I'm using the same one I used on the unit, but okay. I noticed a few things. I was, you know, flat ironing my hair as I usually do, as I did with my previous U-part wig. And I noticed my hair was responding differently. Like she was talking a language and I was not fluent. She was honestly fighting me. I felt like the humidity in the air was starting to get to my hair. And regardless of what I did, even though I was using a lower temperature, like around 325, my hair, it wasn't with it. It just seemed very limp lifeless and again 4c natural hair will revert faster than you could imagine i mean you blink and your hair is back to its shrunken state so i was a little nervous now i was feeling this look you know once you blend everything and you because you definitely got to blend and you're gonna get clocked but i was like the straight look isn't working for me so i went in with this new braid barbie drip this is new for me it had my hair slicked down i want to do this more with a protective style and give my true feedback but I just added this root cover up to create a more full look around my hairline because my hair is a little bit more fine. And I just let this set in place. And then, you know, I realized I'm like, we not gonna win in this heat. I don't wanna fight with my hair no more. I'm, I'm tired of playing games. So I said, let's curl her. 
Now I hate working with curling irons. So I was just like, uh, I always burn myself. I love this curling iron. I think it is bomb and the hair responds very well. But one thing about this hair, I definitely recommend allowing it to set. So after you finish curling it, hold it in your hand for about like 15, 20 seconds. Spray it with the got to be free spray because some sort of holding spray will help that curl to prosper and just last a little bit longer. You can also use double prong clips to, you know, just hold the curls in place which I would honestly recommend and yes this is a lot of work but I would rather myself do all of this than you do this and you not know what's going on so you guys get to see but the curls on the unit definitely drop again with humidity with this particular unit even though it's kinky straight and it is a human hair wig it will swell the curls will fall after time so just let's be realistic here Now to put y'all up on game, it would be smart of you to purchase this unit now while you can get $50 off your order and you can slay this in the winter time, okay? This is something you can come back to, you can revisit. So buy it now, slay it later because I'm coming back to this. We're gonna work this out. I know what my hair is capable of. The humidity was just holding me back and we are gonna fight. But I love how this all turned out. It was, you know, a little bit more work, but the quality of this unit is gorgeous i love it tell me what you think if i'm clockable just a little bit just you know give me a little leeway okay i slayed the day no lace front wig needed let me know if you enjoyed it any tips you may have and i hope i see you in the next one